Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be talking about when somebody's Uranus planet is in either your first or your second house in Sinistry. When somebody's Uranus planet comes into your first house in Sinistry, this person really throws you off guard because the first house is your personality, it's who you are to your core. So this person will shake you to your core to where they could have you out here doing a lot of different things with yourself and being a whole new person and that is the purpose of their presence in your life is to help you change a lot of your ways, upgrade yourself, upgrade your personality, upgrade your style, upgrade the way you approach the world. You know, this person is helping you progress yourself because Uranus is ruled by Aquarius. Aquarius is a progressive energy. so. It's the energy of doing things that are ahead of your time and that's very fresh and new and that nobody has ever done before. That is Aquarius energy. So this person will come with this energy in your life to where this person will help you get a lot of genius ideas on how to do things differently. So you could be in a point in your life where you're like, man, like I want to do something different with myself. You know, I just want a lot of different things in my life right now. This person comes into your life and they really challenge you to change. So a lot of the times, either this change could be warranted to where it's like you've been looking to do something different with yourself and have a whole new approach to the world and how you show up to the world so you know this person can influence you to change your hair up maybe you've never dyed your hair before and now you're going to dye your hair maybe you know you don't really wear too much color in your clothes and they'll inspire you to do a little bit of color you know when it comes to your clothing add a little pop of color you know maybe this person will challenge you to take the risk to get a couple tattoos get a couple piercings you know do something crazy with yourself do something that'll shock a lot of people this person will have you out here with a whole new attitude okay and a lot of people ain't gonna be ready a lot of people ain't gonna be ready because the first house is opposite the seventh house of your one-to-one -one relationships and the people that you interact with so a lot of your personal relationships, they ain't going to be ready for all this change, you know, and you're going to be you're going to be making people real mad because you're going to be acting different. You're going to be acting in ways that they're not used to with somebody's Uranus planet coming into your first house in Sinistry is that they'll really influence a difference in your personality. So if you're the kind of person that, you know, you're very shy, you're very quiet. You know you don't really put yourself out there that much or really showcase your personality this person will help your true authentic personality come out to where you feel like you're being more of yourself you feel more free so if you've been feeling really restricted in that sense especially by your personal relationships where they make you feel like you can't come out your shell or you're kind of people pleasing a little bit to where you can't feel like you could be your full authentic self this person is going to challenge you to do that and you're going to be out here acting in certain ways that a lot of people are not going to be comfortable with and you could actually see yourself losing a lot of relationships because of that whatever relationships that you were once in alignment with now you're shaking yourself out of those relationships and stepping into alignment with your true self to where a lot of the people that you've been in one-to-one -one relationships with you'll see them fall away because you're changing and that happens in life when you change your surroundings change the people that you interact with change to where you might not see these people anymore and you'll randomly make new friends and new partnerships that are in alignment with who you are now the change that you made to who you are now somebody's uranus planet coming into your first house in sinistry can also play out 
on the flip side too to where you may feel very uncomfortable when this person comes into your life to where this person challenges you to make a lot of changes that maybe you're afraid to make maybe you feel like you're not ready but it's like the universe sent this person for a reason to help you change because it's time you know so you'll see a lot of clashing with this person because you feel like this person is very disruptive very chaotic you know and they're just making you feel uncomfortable because they're trying to shake you out of ways that you're comfortable with you know so another thing with the first house is the first house is your surroundings that influence your personality your style and your approach to the world as i was kind of saying before you'll see a lot of your surroundings change when you're changing you know a lot of people will either get with the program or you'll see them kick rocks so this person's presence will bring a lot of change and a lot of freshness to your surroundings this person's presence will bring a lot of excitement and a lot of just spice to your surroundings that further influences the change that you're making to your personality your style and the way you present and approach the world when somebody's uranus planet comes into your second house in sinistry I'm not gonna lie, this could get a little scary because this person could bring a lot of disruption and chaos to your money and your security. So with Uranus, it's a very neutral planet to where it could play out either way depending on what you're needing in your life at that given moment. So it could play out in this way to where it's like this person with the Uranus coming into your second house, they could bring a lot of genius ideas to where you can progress in the way you make money and your money making skills can progress to where maybe they influence you to start making money on the internet through social media maybe you've been stuck to the tried and true way because that's very second house tourist energy to where you know you could play it a little safe when it comes to your money making just because you like to know that your money is coming in for certain you know what i'm saying like you like to be certain that your money is coming in in a certain way but when this person comes around you know they could influence a new way of making money that could be a little risky money could be up and down for you and you could just make money in ways that are very unconventional you know making money through instagram or youtube or you know whatever kind of online platform you know you could try making money through that somebody's uranus coming into your second house could also play out to where for some reason when this motherfucker shows up you just start having all these random money problems all these expenses to where you spending mad money left and right here and there for different shit like maybe they kind of influence you in a way to spend a lot of unnecessary money maybe y'all live together and maybe ever since this person came into your life now now you have all these expenses where you have to like fix a lot of things in the house like things randomly in the house just break whether they're breaking shit or just you know just their energy just causes shit to just malfunction and just break and then it's like oh shit i gotta fix this oh i gotta get this new thing da, 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 da. you know just racking up all these random expenses left and right to where it does fuck with your bank account your security you know it could just fuck with the way you had things you know to where it can make you feel very insecure when you're around this person you know you feel like this person causes you to just be very unsettled when it comes to your bank account your 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 overall just secure foundation that you had in place this person can influence you to buy a lot of technology you know because the second house is your possession so you can find yourself giving away a lot of things that you once valued things that you once enjoyed and you just randomly either sell it or just give it away and then you just start upgrading and buying all this new technology all these new gadgets it doesn't even only have to be technology 
It could just be like new makeup, new clothes, you know, that is different. Just different material items that are just more upgraded based off of whatever it is that your value system has changed to. Because that's another thing that this person will bring to your life is a change in your value system. Maybe you grew up with a poor value system and this person challenges that to where you change a lot of your values and morals. Could bring a lot of upset when it comes to your self-esteem. They may challenge that as well because it's like testing you to see is your self-esteem up to par? They could challenge that too. This person is just trying to help you upgrade the way you make money and the and just your overall value system they're helping you upgrade when it comes to your value within yourself you know and that will further help improve the way you make money so you know don't be afraid to try different things when it comes to making money take a little bit more risks and maybe that might work out well for you you probably came from a background where it's like you kind of just played it safe when it came to making money. You didn't try new things. In this lifetime, this person's presence is here to help you try new things when it comes to making money because maybe the way you make money, you're not making what you're worth. You know what I'm saying? You're not making what you're worth and you're limiting yourself, you know, to where you could make more money if you just tried new things. You know, if you opened yourself to more of the possibilities out there another thing with somebody's uranus coming into your second house in sinistry is that this person can help you become more financially independent more financially free uranus is originally ruled by the sign of aquarius aquarius is the sign of independence and freedom so this person can help you get out of that nine to five job and start a business where you make money on your own terms or they could just help you do more innovative and creative things when it comes to making your money these things can bring a lot of excitement and enjoyment in your life that second house energy that's taurus energy to where taurus doesn't want to work hard you know taurus just wants to kick back and enjoy itself this person will free you of that work hard and not being able to enjoy yourself kind of energy and it'll help you Shake yourself out of any energies that prevent you from being able to enjoy this material world that we live in. All right, you guys, that is all I have for today on my interpretation on when somebody's Uranus is either in your first or second house in Sinistry. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you fuck with the channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.